Zendaya fires back at a comedian who body shamed her during the KCAs. Zendaya's career is flourishing, with successful films like Dune and Spider-Man No Way Home under her belt. In addition to her professional success, she is also in a happy relationship with her co-star and friend Tom Holland. Despite her current happiness, Zendaya has faced criticism about her appearance in the past, specifically skinny shaming. Do you know who made these comments about Zendaya and how she responded to the situation? Now, the actress has taken the courage to talk about her excessive weight loss and here is everything she revealed about it. Before we begin, please like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest news from Hollywood. During the Nickelodeon's Kid Choice Awards on Saturday, comedian, writer, and actress Julie Klausner began posting on Twitter about Zendaya's thin frame. Zendaya has faced body shaming for an extended period, and recently, her sudden weight loss has caused concern among her fans about her health. She has addressed the reason for her extreme weight loss, and it may come as a surprise. Being a successful celebrity, especially one who started their career as a child star, is not easy. Things are not always as they appear on the surface. Zendaya has faced skinny shaming and allegations that she may have had an eating disorder for a long time since entering the industry. The criticism of Zendaya's appearance began in 2016 while she was still working with Disney. Zendaya has always had a slender and lean physique, which was misinterpreted as unhealthy by some, including Julie Klausner, who accused her of starving herself to look good for an award ceremony. The Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards are generally not a source of controversy, especially when it comes to the portrayal of female bodies in the media. However, Zendaya's win at the 2016 awards ceremony led to a heated Twitter argument between the actress and comedian Julie Klausner. After receiving the award for the favorite female TV star in a kids' show at the 2016 Kids' Choice Awards, Zendaya concluded her acceptance speech by saying, To all the parents out there, thank you for allowing me to be a role model for your children. I really, really do not take that for granted. Julie Klausner, the creator and star of the TV show Difficult People, and author of I Don't Care About Your Band, added to Zendaya's speech on Twitter by saying, and thinspo model for your impressionable tweens. Klausner continued to criticize Zendaya's appearance on Twitter, implying that the actress had an eating disorder, and referencing Zendaya's 2015 dispute with Juliana Rancic over the latter's appearance at the Oscars. Zendaya's ultimate retort to Juliana Rancic is starving herself down to the size of one of her elbows, she tweeted. She also posted this, You don't have to have an eating disorder to attend the Kids' Choice Awards, but it helps. That was extremely rude. Zendaya quickly defended herself against Klausner's criticism, condemning her for body shaming and asking if she wanted to be next, presumably about Rancic. Do you find this funny? I will write another paragraph to educate you as well. Hashtag you really want to be next, Zendaya tweeted. And then she added another tweet. Now, everyone go look in the mirror at their beautiful body and love that shit. Hashtag thick girls winning. Hashtag skinny girls winning. Hashtag we all winning. Zendaya not only defended herself, but also made many fans proud of the actress. Many responded things like, At Zendaya, you're mainly the reason why I am not ashamed to show my thickness. You inspire me to be positive. I love you, Zendaya. Another said, At Zendaya, you are my role model and you stay strong when people try to tear you down, Z. Keep your body the way it is. Hashtag thin girls. Finally, another replied to the tweet, At Zendaya, you never fail at making me feel confident about myself. I'm not skinny, so I have insecurities, and you make me feel so much better. I bet Zendaya's feet smell like Funyuns. Let's check, shall we? Nope, smells like success to me. After Zendaya's response, Klausner did not fully apologize, but instead stated that she would never stop criticizing celebs who perpetuate dangerous beauty standards and would try to help the generation of girls who aspire to look like Zendaya. She also extended an olive branch of sorts to the many Zendaya fans who were attacking her on Twitter. She tweeted, I will never stop criticizing celebs who perpetuate dangerous beauty standards for a generation of girls who grow up thinking they're fat. I'm concerned with the generation of girls who aspire to look like Zendaya. I do not worry about Zendaya's health or care whether she eats. Also, let's not fight. Here is my olive branch to Zendaya fans. Can we all just agree that one, all women are beautiful, and two, Zendaya hates Jews? Wow, wow, a very rough answer, don't you think? However, this was not the end of the skinny shaming controversy. 
In 2021, when Zendaya won the Fashion Icon Award at the Council of Fashion Designers of America Awards, looking beautiful in a stunning dress, she faced even more criticism. She was the youngest person to ever win the Fashion Icon Award at the CFDA Awards Ceremony. Zendaya attended the event wearing a custom-made red Vera Wang bandeau and bubble peplum column skirt that highlighted her beautiful shoulders and slender physique. However, rather than receiving praise for her outfit, critics took to Twitter to shame her for looking unhealthy and malnourished. A person tweeted about it, Zendaya is not hot, she's just malnutritioned. Another tweeted, no hate to Zendaya or anyone naturally thin, but I really do refuse to idolize someone who is 5'10 in size 0 to 4. Young girls literally starve themselves to death for this beauty standard. Very pretty girl, but she's too skinny. Sorry. To make matters worse, Zendaya's father mentioned that she finds eating difficult and sees it as a chore, which added fuel to the criticism. Zendaya, I wish I were more like her, but sometimes eating is a waste of time for her. She's a vegetarian. She's a vegetarian who doesn't like vegetables. So getting her to eat uh, and make sure that she has proper nutrition and refuels her body and gets the appropriate amount of rest, that's our biggest challenge. None of this criticism should matter because, as mentioned earlier, Zendaya has a naturally slender and lean build, which is completely normal. Many fans even pointed this out during the controversy with Julie Klausner. Zendaya herself has also addressed the criticism, tweeting in 2014 in response to the skinny shaming comments. I'm a naturally skinny string bean and I love it, she tweeted. And in another tweet she added, for anyone who can relate, people be like, I can't even see her bones, good observation boo boo, that's called a curve. Many of Zendaya's fans came to her defense saying that they could relate to the issues she faces. One person said, I can totally relate to Zendaya. I myself get called skinny all the time and have been told I need to eat more. There are people who are just naturally born to be small. Body shaming period is disgusting. I feel that those who judge about their looks, period, are just insecure about themselves. Another person commented, you can easily tell she's just naturally skinny. There's a big difference between that and the rib poking out phase of anorexia. For her, it's just natural and healthy. She is gorgeous. This was not the first or last time that Zendaya faced criticism about her appearance. She has also faced discrimination because of her skin color and ethnicity. For example, when she wore dreadlocks to the 2015 Oscars, she faced criticism and questions about her fashion and styling choices. Zendaya has never been one to be intimidated by criticisms of her body or her appearance, and that's something we celebrate. What are your thoughts on this situation? Please let us know in the comments below.